Hello guys, this is Christian. I'm coming back at you with another Boom Beach video. So today, the wonderful update came out. Um, I'm bringing it up on my Facebook page right now. So we're gonna see what's in it. Um, not too big of an update. They did bring out a new troop, and now I see a crab. I see a crab. Uh, -uh. that is so awesome. That is so awesome. Do um climbing on the beach. Anything else? There's another. Oh, we just like he buried out, and then he came. He buried out of the sand, and then he just uh, came out. Um, so it's called the Scorcher update, and that's because they brought out the new troop, the Scorcher. Now I'm actually training up it right now, and let me first show you this operation, guys. I'm able to save a note. Um, not sure what the character limit is, but only uh, officers and leaders could save the note. Um, I could hit save, and then um, it looks like there's a little note by it. So when you click on it. Um, you see the note and it says last edited. So a uh, members cannot do it. So, um, that's kind of, uh, not good, but again, members can't delete the note. Okay. Uh, update the flame wars. New troop, the scorcher it is a masters of armored unit with short range and attention span. It takes a lot. It takes a boatload of energy to deploy and leaves with a bang, harming everything nearby. So it sounds like it blows up. And later, guys, in this video, I'm going to be attacking with that troop. Uh, available at HQ 18 because we want something cool to unlock at each HQ level. So we only have eight, 19 and 20 left. Okay. Um, new power base tactical notes. That's why I just showed you. Uh, see more information about your attack or statue. I was, also, I was also looking at this, and if you click on this guy, you can see statues. And this guy has a massive gumbo energy boost. Um, here we go. This guy has a massive gumbo energy boost. Okay. Here we go. Oops. Uh, uh, okay, I just moved my recorder, so hopefully it's still in the box. Okay. Um. Several new power base layouts, so that's just new tactical layouts for power bases. Um, find new wildlife on your island. So I only found a crab at the moment. Maybe there's a dolphin or something swimming nearby. I see a bird. I think the birds was he were here. And I see, are these butterflies? Yes, I see butterflies. That's kind of cool. Okay, um, there's probably more. Female villagers. Okay, I did find some female villagers, and they, they're going to be working. Um, there's a few in there. New gumbo upgrade vis visuals. That's awesome, guys. I love the new gumbo and it, the gumboat. Um, new flamethrower. Those are also awesome. Uh, new more accurate visual for boom mines and um, boom mines stops. Yep, yep. That's new. Um, uh, tap on your dive location while just blowing depths. That's just a glitch, I think, or something. Um. Grenadier moves faster and further because he was pretty decreased, so now they increased to that looks like. And he has a slightly increased grenade explosion range. DPS remains the same. Statue boost will automatically pause during maintenance. Increased ice statue boost to 10 hour per... Per... 10 hours, that's awesome! Yeah! Um... Cannons and boom cannons will no longer deal double damage to tanks, but instead deal more damage overall. Tanks do more damage and train train faster, but have more, but have less half health. So it looks like they nerfed tanks a little because they were so overpowered. But now cannons won't do double shot to them, so now it's not as nerfed anymore. So I think there's still gonna be a big nerfed problem. Um, uh, operation intel costs now. Uh. Scale according to your size of your task force. Sabotage price is reduced. Better pathfinding for all your troops. That's better. Um, gumbo ability grid when attacking is now pixel price. Uh, that's also good. Um, recommended task force is now tell you when they bring recommended to you. That doesn't make sense to me. Okay, matchmaking uh, for 600 and upwards that was out released a couple days ago. PvP loot is no longer determined by the strength of your opponent's defense, but by the total EXP matters. Um, I think what that means is they boosted the extra loot you get. So, you'll get that extra loot depending on the EXP level. Um, added 
bonus loot to attacking high VP players. Dr. Tear visiting hours have changed. I think I covered that in the last video. When you leave the task force, you won't be able to get the task force reward, operation reward, even if you join before the task force finishes. Uh, our officials can only kick a task force member every 20 minutes. You can join 10, 10 task forces per day. Leaning craft colors improved. Turns no longer rotate all day, which is good. Um, because that was kind of annoying. So as you see, they don't rotate. Um, maybe they rotate. Yeah, they rotate a little, but they don't rotate a lot. Okay. And then just, just some uh, visual glitches left. And overall, it's a wonderful update, guys. I think it's a great idea, and I want to know what you think. So now let me finish and train these up, and then we're going to attack with four Scorchers and the rest boats, hook, uh, Zookas. And this is going to be the Suka. The Suka, and that's perfect. The Suka strategy, Scorchers and Zookas. 